to my channel hopefully you guys had a wonderful 4th of July weekend because I did I was able to get off work early and relax um so today I'll be doing my second cash stuffing of July and I'll be stuffing a total of $450 from this week's paycheck so let's get started here's the money that I will be stuffing And also I have my paycheck breakdown and this I got from Budget with Amanda. She has a free download over on her channel. So I did get paid $502.59 and I also got an extra $75 as a gift. So my total income from this week was $577.99. But I took out $450 to put in my envelopes and I left $127.59 in my bank account as a buffer because I do pay my bills electronically. So I normally just keep my bills or my the money for my bills in my account. And also like if I just want to use my credit card for something, I can. So, um... So today I would be starting with my cash expenses. So with gas this week, I used everything out of here. I have $40 from last week and I ended up refilling my tank, I think two days ago. And I spent exactly $40 on a diet like. So this week I am upping it to 45. I'm going to do 120 on four fives and five ones. So in total, we have 25, 35, 40, and then 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. And I don't know if I'm going to be filling my tank up this week because I am going out of town. So that's done. The next spending, I have money left over. I do have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 left. And I am going to keep a 5 and then put this to the side. And then I'm going to put 120. So right now I have 25. Um, work, I still have not used anything in here. So it should still have $7. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I still have seven dollars. And then food, I have money left over as well. So I have three dollars. So I'm also gonna put this to the side. And I'm going to put another $20 in here. And then I'm going to put all this back into my wallet. Then next we are going to start the sinking fund. So I normally start off with this pink binder. So... So we're going to start off with Debt Snowball, and Debt Snowball, I'm going to add $15, three, and then 
I'm gonna update these trackers after the video because last time it was taking too long. So, so that snowball has 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, and 90 dollars. So, 90 dollars. So then shopping this week is getting $20 and this is going to get used because like I said before I'm going out of town. So shopping has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and 65. So I got 165 in shopping. Next for electronics, um, I'm going to put 63 and I put 63 because I want to have both my iPad and my Apple Watch by Christmas and putting $63 a week will make my goal by Christmas. So I'm putting 63, that is three 20s and three ones. Three. So, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20 and 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So in total, I have 267. And I'm doing really good with this envelope. And I'm so excited about that. Um, luxury is getting $5 like usual. So luxury has five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. And this week's paycheck is my normal paycheck. And it's like really short. And I try to stuff every envelope, even if it's a dollar. So next paycheck will be a little bit bigger because I did work overtime. And my job is offering double overtime, so next week will be a lot better. And I'll be stuffing a lot more in the in every envelope. And car maintenance, I always put $20 or $40 depending on my paycheck. So it's getting $20 this week. So in total, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. So I have 180. And also I really most definitely need to do a cash exchange because I have way too many 20s, 5s, and 1s because the bank by my house like only has an ATM and yeah so and the ATM only has 20s, 5s, and 1s and also 100s so I think I'm just going to go to another bank probably even next week. I might even go to a teller next week because I really want 10s and 50s and all of that. So, but at the most definitely at the end of this month, I'm going to do my first cash exchange. So, um, travel, which is really, this one is really exciting because this week I made my goal and I'm so excited. I'm going out of town Wednesday. So I made it just in time. And so travel is getting $93 on four 20s and 
two fives. Down. And three ones. So, so in total, this should be six hundred dollars. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 600. Oh my god. I made my goal in just the right time. Like, oh my god. Whew, I cannot wait for this trip. And like I said with my last video, um, I do plan to put half and whatever is left in here, I do plan to put half in my savings and half in my electronics or I might just stuff like put a little bit in the important envelopes so yeah so the travel is officially done and when I get back from the trip I am gonna still stuff this envelope but not as much money I'm just gonna put like five dollars a week in here so emergency is getting five dollars So emergency has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 dollars. And the rest of the envelopes are getting like 5, no more than 10 dollars. Um, Kara is getting 5. Twenty five, thirty five, forty five, fifty five, and sixty. Miscellaneous is also getting five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, and thirty five. Beauty is also getting five dollars. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty five. So miscellaneous had 60, oh no, miscellaneous had 35. And I'm going to do my savings and one to five dollar savings at the end. Yeah, I most definitely do need to do a cash exchange because it's getting harder and harder to close this binder. So, next I do my purple envelope. And this is more of like holiday-wise or birthdays and vacation stuff like that. So, um, gifts is getting $10. So in gifts, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Vacation and date night is getting a dollar because I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. And we don't have plans to do anything. So I have... Um, five, ten, and eleven dollars.
birthday is getting three dollars. Three dollars. So, and birthday I have five, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Fun is getting three dollars as well. And fun has five, ten. 15, 16, 17, and 18. And last for this binder, Black Friday is getting $2. So Black Friday has 5, 10, 11, 12. And the next binder is my, I guess, long terms, like future eyes and stuff like that. And so I start off with rainy day, which is getting a dollar. So rainy day has um, five, ten, and eleven dollars. Future is getting five dollars. Future has five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. Next student loans has, is getting five dollars as well. So Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Giving is getting a dollar. So giving has four dollars. And next of this minutes is getting three dollars. Which I think is my last, yep, last three dollars. So giving has five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one dollars. Um, next, we are going to go back into the pink folder and do my savings. So, savings is getting that $75 I got extra as a gift for my graduation. So, any anytime I get money, I just put it in my savings. So, I had 20 40 and 60 and then... 65 and 70. Wait, no. And 75. Yeah. So, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. So, savings. And I do have, I don't know if you can see this, but I do have $1,561.28 in the bank. So, so in savings, I have 100, and then 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. So in total, I have $455 in savings. And this is not including the $1,000 in the bank. Like, I just did not feel like doing that. Like, I did start at first. I don't know if you can see this. But it just started to get a little confusing. So 
I'm just counting what I have in the envelope. So next I have my one to five and five dollar challenge or saving challenge for my leftovers. So I just started to put my leftovers in here. So well that are fives and ones. So in total in here I have six dollars. So and at the end of the month, I do take out the money that I have in here and put it in a little jar. In the month of June, I ended up saving $72 and I emptied it and I emptied it out. And right now we're starting back at zero. But last week I did put $6 in here. So right now I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 dollars. So I did put 11 dollars in here. So in total we have 17. Oh my god, I can barely close this. So move this out the way. And so I am doing the same challenge as Budget with Amanda where she does the 80 envelopes, but instead I do have a hundred. So I did pick a 15, so I will have to pick a five next. And I think this was the same as last week. was $15 and I do like to put the date on here so it is and hopefully now I have to look for five so I found the five so I keep forgetting about this coin I should do this first next time but so last week I we ended up putting a couple cents in so we left off at 750 I do have a lot more change than last week so but still not a lot so that's all the coins that I have but we ended off with 994 which we did good for one week. So, I know I'm going to put this down here. So, that's all I have for this week's cash stuffing. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, or anything like that, um, you guys can always comment them. Um, I would love to hear back from you guys. And yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching.